Hi guys, a video about GIMP and plugins. There was this morning a guy on Discord. He installed it, well, via a different way, right? So what's the correct way to install it? Well, not via terminal, if you don't like that, but surely it's easier to explain it to you. Because minus S GIMP is gonna get GIMP at the very last there but it's gonna get all the rest that it needs as well, the dependencies. So this is one way of doing things. If you wanna remove it again, it's RS. So it's easy, it's an S to install and RS to remove. And the same list is gone again, simple as that. Now, there was something about a plugin, I'm not, there are so many, right? So many GIMP plugins and they depend on, on the version and all that. Look at that. How many do we have? At least, it says here, 72. As in here somewhere, let's do a new selection. Is the Gmic or something, I think it was. Let's have a look. So we have here from community, some from Arch Linux, not from us, GIMP plugin for the Gmic image processing framework. So that's basically what you in install. The Git version is always a version that's supposed to be, um, well, more recent, right? But it says here 299 and it says here 298. So it depends on the maintainer, who is this maintaining this package build and if he's still around, if he's still doing things or on holiday or sick or whatever, right? So it is still up to you to evaluate what you install. In this case, I'm gonna go for number one. I'm gonna see what's happening to my machine. I don't know what this is, the GMIC thing. Optional dependencies for graphics in Magic. Uh, installed, installed, installed. It says installing GMIC, optional dependence for GMIC. Qt5 base for the Qt UI that's installed. So it says it's all installed. Okay, fine. Then next thing, something I don't know, I'll go to here, I'll go to GMIC. What happened to my machine now? Now, I think it's gonna be this guy. So here we see a name that we can remember, Greg, Greg's Magic Image Converter. And the GIMP plugin GMIC, plugin for etc. Okay, so I guess both of them have been installed so here it is gmic and here's the plugin so the plugin is going to files and it's going to be in the 2.0 plugin gmic etc license okay and the other guy has files in well a file to launch gmic and gmic qt so i have already something to that i can have a look at if that's possible at all okay so there is something i need a png i've got enough pngs well actually just one <laughs> okay so what do we have what is this kind of thing Control f i can do all kinds of uh, things with it arrays and tiles array mirrored okay arrow random oh nice ascii art that might be something for us Right, ASCII art, chessboard. So I guess I can do all kinds of things with it. Yeah, this is a very bad example because it's a very big screen. It's a thousand nine hundred times two on thousand eighty. So that's a bit big. Okay, so seeing the tool, is there a extra something in my machine? Super F4, Eric? Yep, Super F4 is GIMP. Do I see somewhere a hint to the plugin that I've in just installed? Script foo, no, here he is, JMAC QT and whatever that is, goat exercise. Exercise a goat, press F1 for more help. Okay, 
let's open something. Let's open a picture. Where are my pictures? Eric has pictures. I've cleaned them all out, have I? Oh yeah, I'm not a computer. <laughs> and then we have filters, so this one, and we can do all kinds of things with it. Degradations, add grain. And do we apply then? Full screen. Okay. Did something happen? I suppose something happened. What's this goat exercise thing? What's that? Somebody can tell me what it is. Control Z. So filters seem to be working. Blur and glow. Definitely visual here. When I apply it, oh yeah, okay. And then we go to okay, all right. So these things are working. And we can give you an example like that. So that's the blur thing. So it's installed, uninstalling the same thing, right? RS. And um, well, first of all, let's kill this thing. Discard changes, control T. Uh, rip, right? What did we install? We installed GMIC and GIMP plugin GMIC. So if you don't recall, what was it again? Clean up again, RS. So the GIMP plugin GMIC. Let's see what happens. This is RS. So yeah, it's gonna, oh, it's gonna grab graphics magic. I don't think we, uh, it shouldn't do that, but it's a dependency apparently for it. But uh, no problem, right? There is always a separate S on the way. Graphics magic, if you think uh, you need it, because you need it for something else, it's back on there. And for the last show, RS GIMP, you're right. That's it for me. Exploring a plugin. Cheers.